Hello, everybody. Some major breaking news that we wanted to bring you as soon as possible. Governor Chris Christie, uh, formerly of New Jersey, has officially dropped out of the GOP presidential primary. Let's take a listen to what he said. From the moment I got into the race, the decision that I made was really simple. I would rather lose by telling the truth than lie in order to win. And I feel no differently today because this is a fight for the soul of our party and the soul of our country. Why have we resisted the calls to drop out of this race? Because unlike some of the other candidates, we're fighting for something bigger than ourselves. We're fighting for something bigger than self-interest. We're fighting for something bigger than the next title. I've got plenty of titles, enough titles to last me the rest of my life. U.S. attorney, governor, husband, father, son, brother. I have enough titles to last me for the rest of my life. We're fighting for something bigger. It's something that conventional wisdom thinkers just can't possibly understand. And so, They've been saying for weeks and weeks and weeks, because of some polls, that I should drop out of the race, that I should get out for that reason. The smallness of the campaigns, who spend more time arguing and worrying about who should get out of the race than they have spent going after the front runner. They spend all their time saying, oh, Christie should get out, Scott should get out, Pence should get out, Hutchinson should get out, Burgum should get out. They and their donors have a different target every day to try to minimize the attention to their own campaign. Now their own campaign is a campaign that doesn't play to win. It's a campaign that plays to not offend. All right. So uh, he says he's dropping out because he doesn't have a path to the nomination. He would rather lose and tell the truth than lie. In the very same breath, though, uh, he went after some of his opponents, Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley. He didn't do it by name, but we have to show you this. So hilariously, right before he was about to step on stage, he's caught on a hot mic. Clearly, he was wearing on and backstage where he tells us pretty clearly what he actually thinks about Nikki Haley. She doesn't have a chance. She's going to get smoked. About Ron DeSantis. Oh, he called me. He was all panicking. He's talking himself up about how good of a candidate he was. So this is the actual Chris Christie thoughts and not the made-for-TV. Here's what it sounded like. People don't want to hear it, Wayne. Mm -hmm. They don't want to hear it. We know we're right, but they don't want to hear it. Right. And, and there's, you know, we couldn't have been any clearer Right. We couldn't have been any more, any more direct or worked any harder. So, yeah. and you know. And forget she spent $68 million. Yeah. I mean, no. we spent like well, when you give land to China and places like that. Yeah, that's gonna, what you get. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, she spent $68 million so far. Just on TV. Um, spent yeah. $68 million so far. $59 million by DeSantis. And we spent twelve. I mean, who's punching above their weight and who's getting a return on their investment, you know? And she's going to get smoked. And you and I both know it. She's not up to this. She hasn't even been challenged. And she's still 20 points behind Trump in New Hampshire, right? Yeah. And, oh, yeah. And he's, gonna, he's still going to carry out, right? Yes. Oh, he's, I, t you know, I talked to De DeSantis called me petrified so that I would he's probably getting out after I was. Well, he's <laughs> all right yeah I mean I, I can't get enough of that it's just so beautiful he's like oh she's gonna get smoked there's just no way uh you know he's like oh I spent 12 million dollars and I forgot this far and Ron he called me and he was panicked uh that I was going to drop out now obviously DeSantis actually should be so Anyway, let's take a little bit of the takeaways. The top line here is that this is the big win for Nikki Haley, even though, you know, based on the hot mic, he doesn't think that she can win. Uh, he doesn't. He thinks, quote, she's going to get smoked. But at the end of the day, you know, his amount of voters, some 10 percent in the state of New Hampshire, are probably the most likely to at least disperse and to vote for the non-Trump candidates. And Trump is beating her somewhere on average by about 20 points in some of the in some of the best polls 
goals for him. It's a single digit lead of maybe three to four points in some of the latest ones, including a CNN one that we covered very lately. Obviously, polls are all over the map. Who the hell knows, you know, what the reality is. But I think you can say pretty unequivocally this is going to be good for her. Now, we don't know enough. And but, you know, I think it definitely could put her in a position to win in the state of New Hampshire. More importantly, though. She's got four days now till the Iowa caucuses. With those four days, she can try and consolidate her and say, guys, you need to come out and make me number two to Trump in Iowa and in New Hampshire. So if you have two number two back-to-backs, then she could credibly make a case in South Carolina. Now, listen, I'm giving you the best possible case for her that's even possible. I personally still think, I think she could win New Hampshire, and I don't think it would matter. Uh, you know, in the long run, that's something we'll talk about, actually, tomorrow. We have some really interesting stuff that's prepared for the show. But wanted to jump on here and just also reminisce about some of the good times. You know, Chris Christie, he really, in my opinion, he, he was kind of a dud from the start here in the race. The one thing that we expected from him was some 2016 energy coming on the debate stage and destroying him. And let's be honest, none of that happened. I mean, failure to launch. He made it all about Trump. Clearly, nobody in the GOP actually wanted to hear it. And the best he could come up with was that horrible Donald Duck line. So let's uh, relive it for if we have to. And I want to look at that camera right now and tell you, Donald, I know you're watching. You can't help yourself. I know you're watching. Okay. And you're not here tonight, not because of polls and not because of your indictments. You're not here tonight because you're afraid of being on the stage and defending your record. You're ducking these things. And let me tell you what's going to happen. You keep doing that. No one up here is going to call you Donald Trump anymore. We're going to call you Donald Duck. So, yeah, I mean, I guess you could probably call that the peak. Uh, I guess also he really hated Vivek Ramaswamy, but, you know, he always he always uh, still decided to white knight for Nikki Haley on the stage. He really is an interesting figure. I mean, I think he's just got a titanic ego because he clearly hates Trump. He doesn't want Trump to be the president again, but he also doesn't want to do anything to bolster the Haley campaign, at least for now. He's, he's not endorsing anybody, you know, as of yet. He doesn't want to bolster the DeSantis campaign. He seems to be kind of a kind of a nihilist uh, in all this. Maybe I respect, you know, I'm a bit of a nihilist sometimes myself. So anyway, uh, that's the big news. Governor Chris Christie, uh, we hardly knew ye. He dropped out just days before the Iowa caucuses, probably clearing the path for Nikki Haley. Uh, if she were to, this could be her moment, you know, number two and number two. That will give her media boost. But guys, don't forget, you know, Joe Biden cleaned everything up, even though he got fifth in the freaking state of New Hampshire in the state of South Carolina that came afterwards. And in every poll that we've seen so far, she's not even close to winning in her own home state. So that's what we've got so far, guys. And uh, we have a great show for you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, uh, there will be a debate tonight. Night, Ron DeSantis versus Nikki Haley. We're going to have the highlights for you on the show as well as a lot of other stuff. So we will see you all later. Shout out to our premium members, breakingpoints.com, if you want to become one today.